hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel civil construction and tutor and in this video i'll discuss about design of a settling basin and a numerical related to it and this is the generalized step for the design of a settling basin we will follow this step for the design of a settling basin in this numerical so we have a question here design a settling basin for particle 8 mm specific gravity 2.65 absolute viscosity as 1.39 gram per centimeter second temperature of water is given as 20 degree centigrade discharge is thousand million liters per day don't get confused here this is million liter calculate depth of sediment assuming concentration is 5000 ppm assume 10 percent discharge and performance coefficient of hazen as 0 0.17 solution here we are not provided with settling velocity vs so for diameter of particles or size of particle greater than 1 mm we'll consider a certain value and I have already discussed about these terms in the introduction part of the settling basin. So I request you to watch that video so that you can understand much more clearly and effectively. So this is from the introduction part. Okay, for diameter greater than one mm, we'll use this formula that is Newton's law, and we'll determine the settling velocity. So V S is equal to under root 3.33 g d s minus one. Substituting g as 9.81 meter per second square then d in mm we are provided as 8 mm and finally s as 2.65 now this comes as 0 0.6566 meter per second similarly we have to determine travel velocity that is v for which we have it as a under root d where a is the constant and it has a various values for particle size greater than 1 mm we take this as 0 0.36 and d 8 mm make a correction okay we'll take the particle size provided and it should be in mm and finally we get this value as uh, 1.0182 meter per second now from particle approach we have l is equal to vh in by vs assuming h as 4 meter and then we'll get the value of l uh, 1.0182 into 4 divided by vs that is 0 0.6566 this value come as 6.2 meter so this is the length of the basin without considering turbulence make sure that now b is equal to q by vh okay converting q that is 1000 million liter per day converting into meter cube per second we get this as 11.57 meter cube per second by 1.0182 that is the horizontal velocity or travel velocity into 4 that is height we assumed so this comes as 2.8 meter and make sure to check this value with 4.75 under root q and that value comes much more greater than this value so we'll assume or as i have already said the smaller value among the uh, b or b dash is taken so we take 2.8 meter as the width of this section or settling basin now let me show how i converted this uh, million liter per day into meter cube per second see thousand million liter per day has to be converted into meter cube per second so thousand million 10 to the power 6 liter i have to convert into meter cube so before that okay 10 to the power minus 3 into day so 86400 second in a day so I finally i'll get 11.57 meter cube per second take l into b into s that is the overall dimension of the settling tank as 6.2 that is the length into 2.8 as the width and height as 4 meter you can take 3 meter also considering Turbulence as I have already said that length is without considering the turbulence effect now if I consider the turbulence effect The velocity or the reduction in the settling velocity has to be considered and I will discuss in the introduction part So L is equal to h into V by V s minus 0 0.132 by under root h into V Substitute the value 4 into 1.0182 V s that is the travel fall velocity which is 0 0.656 minus 0 0.132 by under root as 4 and into travel velocity which is 1.0182 I get this value as 6.92 meter so this is the length considering the turbulence effect so it is somehow little bit greater than that of the value we calculated without considering the turbulence effect also for sediment load please make sure you have visited my introduction part so you will get all these points okay Q into T into C where Q is the discharge okay you can see i have already discussed in the introduction part make sure concentration of sediment c should be in kg per meter cube now we are provided in ppm 
so we have to convert this into kg per meter cube so we are provided with 5000 then it will be only 5 okay then let us substitute the value q is 11.57 into detention time we are not provided with the detention time in the equation so we will assume a value taking uh, detention time as uh, okay, 4 minute okay then 4 into 60 converting into second finally we have c as 5000 ppm converting into meter cube kg per meter cube i get this value as 5 and finally sediment load i get as 13884 kg don't get confused with the conversion okay ppm is equal to mg per liter and finally from mg per liter we can convert to kg per meter cube then volume of sediment load so that was the just load or weight of the sediment now volume of sediment so it is equal to sediment load divided by density of the sediment particles so say density into uh, beta that is the packing factor the value of beta may be taken as per the site condition or as per the sediment for now i am taking 0 0.5 so sediment load which is 13884 divided by density of sediment that is 2600 into 0 0.5 5 so i get this value as 10.68 meter cube i hope you don't get confused with the process of checking so b is equal to b dash is equal to 4.75 under root q this comes as 16.57 meter and we have b as 2.8 so as i said we'll take the smaller value among these two so i didn't check uh, in the previous section so just wanted to make it clear now the next is to find the plan area l into b length being 6.92 into 2.8 we are considering the turbulence effect so we get this value as 19.346 meter square now let us find the depth of the sediment that i denoted as y storage in the figure volume by area and volume is 10.68 divided by plan area which is 19.346 0.55 meter now for efficiency we have three equations and the lowest of these three equation is taken as the efficiency of the settling basin firstly we are taking the hazens equation which is eta is equal to 1 minus 1 plus m into vs by v naught to the power 1 by m where m is the hazens coefficient and as i said we will take uh, the lowest value among these three efficiency from hazens equation the very first 1 minus 1 plus so hazens coefficient which is given as 0 0.17 into vs that is 0 0.665 uh, six, uh, divided by v naught which is as the velocity through settling basin so we have to compute this value and it is calculated as q by as q being the discharge and as being the area just we have calculated so this comes as 0 0.598 don't get confused with the travel velocity to the power minus 1 by 0 0.17 this comes as 0 0.631 so 63.1 percentage is the efficiency from the hazens equation now from waiter's equation eta is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus vs into as by q 1 minus exponential minus vs is 0 0.65 as is 19.346 divided by q which is 11.57 this value comes as 66.32 percentage finally from cam's graph for which we have to find two different terms vs by v asterisk and vs into as by q now v asterisk which is the shear velocity and it is computed as 4.2 times v by 100 into r to the power 1 by 6 where r is the hydraulic radius 4.2 into v that is 1.08 that is the travel velocity divided by 100 and r being the hydraulic radius let us find it is equal to a by p being area and weighted perimeter the question has not specified as the uh, slope of the triangular portion so we assume the rectangular portion only and it has the width of 2.8 meter and the height of the settling tank excluding the sediment depth is 4 minus 0.55 that as 3.45 meter 
so that is the weighted portion we don't consider the portion of the settled particles then area is equal to 3.45 into 2.8 divided by weighted perimeter for weighted perimeter of a rectangular portion it is twice the depth plus width of the section this comes as 0.995 meter substituting 0.995 in the above formula of shear velocity we get this as 0. 0.045 now v as by v asterisk that is the first parameter and this is the x-axis of the cams graph this value comes as 14.7 and v s into a s by q substituting v s that is 0. 0.665 into a s 19.346 divided by 11.57 this comes as 1.11 now from graph here uh, let us see for 1.11 that is vs into as by q so here you can see we can see the curve of 1.1 and 1.2 so the value 1.11 will lie between these two curves of 1.1 and 1.2 and for vs by vs which is 16 and in the x-axis if you see we have the maximum value as 10 so at the apex of x-axis and the curve of 1.1 it coincides with efficiency 1 that is 100% efficiency so eta as 100% from cams graph taking smaller among these three efficiency we have calculated so eta is equal to 63.11 percentage now let us draw the plan and section so b being 2.6 meter this is 6.2 meter and depth being 3.45 meter without considering the depth of sediment and this being 0 0.55 meter so let us go through the general note i have already discussed in the previous video also if discharge is large more than one number of settling basin or tank is provided okay for example if the discharge is 60 meter cube per second then we have to provide two number of settling tanks thank you for joining with us and varying my videos do like and subscribe my channel uh, if you like my video then make a comment if you have any confusion you can make a comment or you can just directly send me message in my instagram channel civil underscore cons you can also find the link in the description of the video thank you have a good time